Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about the coordinates in the corners of some triangles. It says the diagram shows two identical triangles. Now identical means exactly the same and that will actually be crucial later on so that is a key word. The coordinates of three points are shown. Find the coordinates of point A. Now the easiest thing to do here is to write underneath each number in the coordinate whether it is left or right or pull down. So this six comma zero means six to the right and nothing up or down, which basically means that this cross must be level with the number six on the X axis. And nothing up means zero must be there because we haven't gone up. The minus one comma zero, well the minus one is one to the left and nothing up or could be nothing down. So this cross must be minus one to the left on the x-axis. Now we're trying to get some numbers so that we can simply figure out how long each side of the triangle is. So this minus one comma three must be minus one to the left and three up. And now that fits in with a minus one down already on the x-axis and three up means the top of that triangle must be level with three up on the y-axis. And now we can work out how long each side of the triangle actually is. Because the distance on the shorter side of the triangle is the same as the distance between zero and three. So that shorter side of the triangle from zero to three is three, which means the distance along the bottom here of this triangle must also be three. And because it's a distance of three, that's three further along from six. Well, three further along from six makes that nine. So the bottom right-hand corner of this triangle must be level with nine across the bottom. Now, if we get a different color and look at the longer side of the triangle, that is going from this minus one up to six. Well, the gap from minus one to six is basically 7 because from 0 to 6 is 6 and from 0 to minus 1 is 1 and 1 plus the 6 gives us the 7 so if this long side is worth 7 then the vertical side on the other triangle must also be worth 7 we must be going 7 up and seeing as the bottom of the triangle is level with 0 if we go 7 up that point A must be 7 up, which if it's 7 up, it makes it 7 up the y-axis. That point A would be level with 7 up the y-axis. And actually, we've now got all the information we need to work out the coordinates of point A. And here are the crucial numbers. Well, point A, if we start at 0, is 9 along the bottom. So we go across 9. So that's 9, and then a comma, and then we need to go 7 up the side. So the final answer is the coordinates of point A is 9, comma, 7. 